This is Mark Simmons, and I'm doing this for the audition for the show Super Black. But I'm gonna tell you why I like racism. Without racism, wouldn't be no N-word. The word nigga would have never been invented. If it wasn't for the word nigga, I wouldn't even be a comedian. Cause, check it out. Richard Pryor had an album called That Nigga's Crazy. And without the word nigga, he would have never recorded that album. That album probably would have been called This Guy's Bipolar. So thank you, racism, for making that possible. And without racism, we wouldn't have had a hip hop group called NWA, Niggas with Attitudes. We wouldn't have had that. First of all, if it wasn't for racism, these niggas wouldn't even have an attitude. They wouldn't have had no attitude. It wouldn't, wouldn't be nothing for them to be mad about. And then they wouldn't have been called niggas with an attitude. They wouldn't have been NWA. They might have been called something like, these guys are pissed. Who want to listen to a rap group known as T-Gap? You know T-Gap got a new album out, so? So thanks, racism, for making that possible. If it wasn't for racism, check this out. Wouldn't be no such thing as jungle fever. Wouldn't be no jungle fever. It'd just be two people dating each other that they complexions just don't match up. That's not hot. Jungle fever is hot. Man, you ever really see some two racists walking down the street and you look at them like, what in the hell are they doing together? That's racism for you. As far as black people are concerned, there's only four races on this earth. Black people, that's us. Then you got Mexicans. Mexicans is all Hispanics. I don't care if you're Puerto Rican, Cuban, Dominicano, as far as black people are concerned, you Mexican. Alan Rodriguez, Mexican. J-Lo, Mexican. Sammy Sosa, a black dude that's Mexican. All right? As far as black people are concerned, all Asians, y'all Chinese. Y'all Chinese. Tiger Woods' mama, Chinese. That dude that run uh, North Korea, ill kill Jim, whatever his name is, Chinese. All the Iron Chefs, Chinese, okay? And all white people, it's white people. I don't care where you're from. I'm from Italy, white people. I'm from Croatia, white people. I'm Al Roca, white people. And that's how we look at it. Let me give you my views on stereotypes. There's some stereotypes I like, there's some I dislike. Let me tell you what I dislike. I do not like the stereotype that all black men have a big penis. Because it's not a stereotype we do. <laughs> but the thing I hate about the stereotype is now that everybody can spread it around, when I pull out my thing and let Amber see it, she's looking like, oh my God, I knew it was going to be like that. It ain't even no surprise. So thanks a lot for that stereotype. But you wanna know the stereotype I do like? <laughs> that all black men are dangerous and thugs. I love that stereotype. Cause when I fly Southwest Airlines and I sit in on that aisle seat, everybody be scared to sit next to me. Man, I be having a whole row on Southwest Airlines to myself just cause of the stereotype I'm dating. <laughs> I've been on full flights, white people standing in the highway holding on to the overhead bed like they're on the subway because they're too scared to sit next to me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, stereotypes. I love you.